Insecurity. If only a passenger was still in power, Fanny Kaede says days of good leadership gone. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Former Aviation Minister Femi Fanny Kaede, popularly known as FFK, has lamented the inability of the present government to tackle the security challenges rocking the nation. In a series of twists on Tuesday night, the human rights lawyer recalled the administration of the former president, Olusego Basanjo, which fought criminal elements in a short peace in the country. According to him, the days of good leadership are gone, stressing that except Nigerians through hard work established better government in the 2023 general elections. He wrote, One thing you cannot take from OBJ is that he fought for Nigerians. If it was... OBJ that was president when Nigerians were being killed like flies in South Africa, there would have been consequences. If it was OBJ that was in power when Moroccans and Libyans were humiliating, torturing and killing our people, there would have been a price to pay. During the OBJ article government, Nigerians all over the world held their heads up in pride and knew they had a precedent and government that would not allow them to be pushed around or intimidated. Sadly, those days are gone, and unless you work very hard and get the leader, right leadership, they may be gone forever. <laughs> Even I say, <laughs> Even I say, FFK don't they get themselves more small. You don't come outside, they talk. I'll be waiting, I think. Hey, the same OBJ that people are accusing, they don't even want to listen to him, even when he comes out to suggest. Is the person that you're beating his drum. <laughs> I know they will. I know the answer at all. People will always come out and oh, ABJ looted. Oh, he did this. Oh, he did that. But sincerely, if you ask me, for someone who came out from you know military regime, I'm a, the man try, sha. You try. Sincerely, we need somebody who wants the betterment of Nigeria, not somebody who's going to go on air and tell the whole world how lazy his citizens are. I like, can't do that. You don't get to do that. You don't do that. Hmm. Foolish of you. It is now you people recognize the work OBJ did during his tenure. B. OBJ looted all at treasury from thousandaire to billionaire. Okay. Oh. No wahala. I don't understand FFK. The regime that invited you to come chop was the good one. But remember, you did use a foul mouth on them. Before the invitation, a feat that you fail woefully to repeat, despite using the same foul language on successive regimes, is culminated in you getting tired and joining the ruling party. You said you named OBJ's regime as a good one for the reasons I earlier stated. If you mention that regime to another person, they will say, where is our 12 billionaire fund to secure electricity? So what is a good food to someone like you? You will be real venomous poison for another. Different strokes for different people, isn't it? Okay, please get a fact about the twelve billion dollars on electricity, it was projected, not spent. Do more research on it. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Now, wow, it shocked me. Oh, FFK, they talk about OBJ. Hey, hey, and they refer to his to his uh, government as good. <laughs> oh, mommy, to a shock. Oh. What would have happened? He sowed the seed of insecurity, and harvest time is here. Please, I would like to know how. I'd like to know how he sold the seat of insecurity because to me, part of what in FFK talk not true. Yes, the man had things he did not do right, but he definitely had places and ple and things he did well, like incredibly well. Buhari have become quiet. Obinje talks back. You hit him, he will hit you. You smile with him, he smile. I'm telling you, Baba does not have plan for for Serene. You bring bass, he gives you boost. That time, ah. Nigeria, we not be so, not be, not be, not be lie. We go the work out like this. We go the poof. Talk say we get president. But now, imagine South Africa. South Africa, we be say of yesterday, they get mind. Hmm? We they talk Morocco own, they happen. No, sincerely, FFK, what you talk not true. Sincerely. Baba go don't show them say, ha ha, we are the giant of Africa. But this one, no. Nothing, nothing is being done. Nothing is being done. 
apart from the fact that they are slaughtering our people, our president came out online and told the world, he said what people say we're lazy. <laughs> hey, now wow. He is planning small, small to run out of APC so he can come and spoil the Labour Party. But he must collect water water. <laughs> you people should leave me alone though. Which good leadership have you ever enjoyed before now? Nigeria has not enjoyed nothing like good leadership as far as I'm concerned. And that is the truth. You see the leadership, we never enjoy good leadership. We just they imagine how we go be. If we start to enjoy them, I tell you, some people will not be able to believe. They will think they are in paradise, sincerely. If we start enjoying good leadership, ah, no. Some people not agree, believe, say, they go think they don't reach heaven. No, to be sincere with you, this is to show you that we have not even caught a glimpse of it. Have somebody who will come in and the only, his primary objective is to make Nigeria better for all of us. Uh -uh. That person come in, come as in he is now allowed to do what he really wants for the country. Now we say, I be the good leadership now. A lot of things will turn around for the better. A whole lot. Okay. But still rant all the time. <laughs> Please shut up for once. We are sick of your trash talk. Go and arrange your home first. You keep jumping to all parties. You are now in APC. You don't want to be probed. Just shut up, Daddy Nigeria. Well, the thing we say for this country, we despise the messenger alongside the message, which is not supposed to be. If person can't talk something, if that is not true, even though the person don't do something bad before, I beg, look into that thing when you talk, first of all. I did tell her, but waiting in shall they talk, the long and short we say, make, we make sure say, we no make mistake for this coming election. Which I go come, come as I can't talk. Hope say, all this, say, uh, we no go agree. We go vote. We go do this one. No, it be audio voting. No. You know, say they get audio voting. Uh -huh. Hope say, during election day, people are not going to boycott or people are not going to come out. They say A, then do Z. Hope you have gotten your PVCs ready. Hope it is ready. You have gone to revalidate it. Yes, hope you are going to revalidate re re it before. Hope at the end of the day, we are going to get it right this time around. Because I'm telling you, Nigerians cannot stand another four years or eight years of suffocation. No. Huh. This one, eh, not be only say things don't choke. You don't restrict our airflow. And you know, say if you restrict your airflow, not buy nine percent day. Please, we have to get it right this time around. We must make sure if you are voting for anyone that the reason you don't need to come out and tell us this is who you are voting for. If you're voting for that person and it is for the betterment of Nigeria, not for yourself, you're not being self-centered about it. Then we are good to go. On this note, we have come to